How do you get disc golf snap? Well, I define disc golf snap in two parts. One is whenever you're coming through and it's that feeling of your disc just being released at such a high velocity and momentum and being ripped from your fingertips as you throw. You, you feel it like almost just the, with the slingshot effect, it's just like catapulting. And as the disc almost like pulls away from your fingers, it feels so wonderful. And the second part, my most favorite part, is the sound it makes, the wah. It's so satisfying, you hear the pros do it. So I wanna share with you what the pros have taught me and how I have been able to um, accept and finally get to my own disc golf snap. I'm a level up AJ, going hard till my body starts aching. Leave you in the rear view, it's cause you're pacing. I'm coming in like a full power freight train. Seeker Disc Golf, level up. The first thing, and one of the most crucial things, is hitting the power pocket. Hitting power pocket number one. There's actually a second power pocket, so stay tuned for that. But you have to hit somewhere between this area. If you don't hit the power pocket, you're not gonna be able to uh, get disc golf snap. Now, I did an interview with Johnny McRae, and he did confirm, true and false, that true, the disc golf power pocket is somewhere between here and here, right? Obviously, if you're going to, let's say, you know, uh, propel a, a, a ball or push something one way, you're not gonna go up here, you're not gonna go down here, you're gonna go right here. That's the best use of your body and mechanics and the power, right? So same when you come through, you wanna be somewhere right around here. The second part to getting disc golf snap is actually hitting power pocket number two, or what I call pre-power pocket. Johnny McRae agrees with me. True, there is actually a second power pocket, you could call it. Envision a little bubble right over here that you wanna make sure that you hit. You don't wanna be down here, you don't wanna be up here. Generally speaking, now obviously when you throw uphill, downhill, it's a little bit different, but throw flat and to get that full power and that disc golf snap, you wanna make sure you hit this power pocket, little bubble. The third thing I really wanna communicate is making sure that you get the slingshot effect. You get that back and forth motion where you're not manhandling the disc, you're not lawn mowering it, you're not, you're not just using your right hand and arm to go boom, through. And the rubber band effect, uh, I did a video on this, it's actually called the double move. The rubber band effect, the slingshot, is whenever you can get part of your body going back and when this stops it has in your in your other body your other parts of your body are moving forward guess what there's a point when this has to stop and it cannot go anywhere but forward and if you time your body and if it's working well, like a well-coiled machine johnny mccray said you know your shoulders everything needs to be coiling back not just one arm but uh, or shoulder but two shoulders and as Ezra Ada hold and I did a video about this is the disc is almost like staying in one place it at, at least that's the uh, kind of mindset that you need to keep yourself in it's like almost illusion where you're walking around the disc when your body's coming forward guess what it has no chance but to just to move forward at some point right now there's different ways to do this Calvin Heiberg doesn't necessarily go all the way back he kind of stops right here and he doesn't necessarily do this full extension, right? Uh, Drew Gibson does, uh, Ricky Wysocki kind of does. There's all different ways to do it, but you have to be able to get that snap effect. And the left arm actually helps quite a bit with that snap effect. Because as you hit your back point, when you'll see all the pros do something like this, when they come down just a little bit, either down like this, down, uh, up top to bottom like this, or over like Macbeth, they do something. They do something to initiate this little motion right here. Just a little bit. And that is really one of the keys to get disc golf snap. And then you'll be able to really easily come up here and just boom. If you follow those three rules, uh, I'll, you'll really get disc golf snap. And it takes months and months of training, but it has really worked for me. Now, I wouldn't be sharing this with you unless I knew for it to be true for me. Uh, and what the pros have taught me. And I've interviewed a lot of the pros, spent hours with them, and they've been really a blessing on my life. 
hey, go to seekerdiscgolf.com, S-E-E-K-R, to join our online disc golf training program. This stuff really works. If you wanna go from uncertainty to full confidence in your disc golf game and get insanely good at disc golf, I wanna be your coach. I wanna train you. I want to take you to new heights that you never thought imaginable in the shortest amount of time. I'm serious about this stuff. I converted my whole half of my garage into the disc, this disc golf mini training facility just because I love the game and I love to give back and grow the sport. Why don't you head to seekerdiscgolf.com or join our free newsletter, totally free, once every week, disc golf news, tips, and humor right to your inbox, totally free, seekerdiscgolf.com forward slash newsletter. We'll see you later. Fresh.